What's up, everybody? This is Glenn's Real Estate Vlog, and I am the titular Glenn, coming at you on June 1st. What a weekend we had. Protests in Michigan City, sitting in my office. Luckily, we did not get damaged, although uh, shout out to McGinnis Pub and Lighthouse Liquors, who did not fare so well and are just a block away from us. Um got a little bit of news which i mentioned in my first episode which was last monday tomorrow is indiana's primary election so you should get out and vote especially in light of all of the turmoil that's been going on it's time to elect people who will really make good policy and drive us forward you can check your voting registration status and your polling location if you go to indianavoters.in.gov um, I checked mine today. I already knew where it was, but I checked again. My polling place is open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Because of coronavirus, there was absentee ballots that you could have mailed in, although I think that's over now. Um, also, if you go on indianavoters.in.gov, you can see who's on the ballot and do your research. I want to give a shout out to another local business, this time not a restaurant. Uh, DNM Septic in Michigan City. I've been having some drainage problems the last couple weeks in my house. Uh, bubbling toilets, stuff backing up into my laundry room. Really a huge mess. And they have quite literally saved my butt. So I had a bunch of roots in my main drain line. And they came and cleaned them out. Uh, and the cool thing is they have crews that work off hours. Um, they'll come on the weekend if you need them to. Given the normity of stress that I felt because of all these drain issues. Uh, they're pretty reasonably priced, even if you have an emergency call. So give them a call if you have septic or sewer issues. All right. So moving on to real estate stuff. I don't have any new questions from viewers this week. Although if you do have questions, you should definitely comment them or... DM me and ask them and I'll answer them on the air. Or if you prefer, I'll write you a thoughtful message back. Um, but one question that I get very frequently that I thought would be good to answer was, I'm a first time home buyer. How do I buy a house? Well, as I have stated in the previous episode, we're in a super hot market right now. First thing you need to do is get a pre-approval letter from a lender. You can check your local lender. You can check online, like Rocket Mortgage or, you know, companies like that. Try to stay with big name companies if you're going to do that. But the, really the best thing to do is find a nice local bank because when the deal goes a little bit sideways, the local banks are the easiest to work with. So once you find a lender and you've shopped around for your rate, You'll have a pre-approval letter and you'll have important information like what kind of loan you were qualified for. So for example, an FHA loan, which is very common, requires the house to be in a certain condition compared to a conventional loan, which you, maybe you can have a little bit more repairs with. Um, and that will really help you narrow down your search. So then once you get your pre-approval letter and you get with me, we'll go out and shop I'll send you new stuff I see. I'm checking every day, like up to the minute updates, um, working all times of the day to get you in, especially when there's 10 showings on the house and the first day it's listed, multiple offers, you can't afford to wait. And then once you get an offer put in, you go through inspections, there's an appraisal that happens, you have to send a bunch of paperwork to your lender, and then you get a close. We're still doing dry, not dry closings, drive-through closings uh, because of COVID-19. So you get to sit in your car and they bring all the papers out to you like uh, a tray at the hot dog stand. And then you sign and someone with a clean suit comes out and they hand you your keys. And then you spray them down with sanitizer and go to your house. And that's how you buy a house in 2020. All right. So 
that pretty much concludes today's episode, but I'll finish with my final shameless plug. And that is for not even a listing of mine this time. I want to ask you guys, did you know that I have a podcast besides this one, another podcast called, okay, so tell me a story It's with my good buddies, Larry and Josh. And we talk about childhood events that have shaped us. We interview people and hear cool stories by them. Sometimes we talk about interesting topics like philosophy or religion or politics and it's all pretty good sometimes it's funny you can check us out at okaysopodcast.com that concludes today's episode of the glenn paludu real estate vlog which is a working title hmm. if you have suggestions for a full permanent title you should get at me and in the meantime like subscribe Hit that bell icon. It helps the YouTube algorithm. I only made like a million dollars off my first two YouTube videos, so I can't quite afford to do podcasting full time, but with your help, I can. So with that, see you later. <laughs>